In less than seven days, we had two different drivers outgate bad box numbers from the Norfolk Southern. By bad box numbers, I mean the numbers they put on the J1 did not match the containers they had pulled out. Then they proceeded to drop those containers at yards for loading. We were lucky we were able to find definitive proof that both drivers did indeed drop the wrong container number in order to get the rail to help us resolve it. Neither driver was aware, even after dropping at the customer's yard, that the container numbers were completely different. So I want to remind drivers of best practices again. Before you hook up to a unit, make a note of the container number. Once you do hook up to the unit, check the number again against the number you just marked. Upon arriving at the shipper receiver, check the unit again. If you are dropping it at that shipper receiver for future loading or unloading, check it again. Also, don't use your J1 container number to fill in the box on your tablet or your POD. Write it down while you're looking at the number when you are at the receiver or shipper. Mark it in on your tablet while you're looking at it to make sure you're getting every chance to catch a mistake. The reason this is so important, had we not gotten lucky in our guesswork as to what happened, when those containers showed up, no one had records of. The J1 interchange slip is a receipt that says you took possession of a container chassis. If that container and chassis are a bad number, eventually we'll think the container has been stolen. The shipper won't be able to find it because you will have never dropped it, and we'll end up making a police report. The police will be looking for a container that is sitting in the railroad, and unless someone happens to move it, it likely will remain there. Once found in the railroad, all of the per diem will become your responsibility until it shows ingated again. In one case, it was $800, but it could be a lot worse than that. And if no one ever comes across it, sooner or later, we will end up paying for the container and the chassis. Every few months, someone outgates the wrong container. If you follow these best practices of checking and checking and checking again, the sooner we find out that there's an issue, the cheaper and quicker the resolution will be.